Hello, Divine Collective. Welcome or welcome back to my channel, Divine Goddess Enlightenment. I'm Ashley, and I am here with some cosmic downloads for you guys. As you tap in, don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already. Make yourself at home. Hit the bell so you can be notified every time I drop a read. I hope you guys are having a fabulous rising. I'm doing well. The link to my self-published poetry book, The Unpolished Diamond, will be in the description as well as the about section. I would like to take this time out to thank all my new subscribers. Welcome. Thank you to my day ones. You guys have been nothing short of amazing, and I truly appreciate every single last one of you. So, you guys, I got a very special message for you guys um, today, so let's tap right on in, okay? I just got out of meditation. If you guys look on the community board, I've shared the meditation I did this rising, um, and literally, when I was in this meditation, also, you guys, I meditated with this strawberry quartz. Shout out to you, Nicole, if you're watching. Nicole gifted me with a lot of beautiful crystals, and this was one of them, okay? A beautiful strawberry quartz crystal, okay? Um, so when I was meditating, I heard 90 days. I, was, I just kept hearing 90 days, and it goes right along with the download I got, okay? So let me tell y'all what the download is. This is the download. You're a hot topic. No one expected you to be the one to become successful. Major blessings and opportunities are currently rolling in for you, okay? You will be, you will never lack or want for anything again, okay? And when I was in meditation, I heard 90 days, okay? I heard 90 days. So within this 90-day period, it's like with, with from now, within 90 days, you're going to experience a lot of unexpected blessings, a lot of unexpected opportunities, uh, a lot of unexpected prosperity, okay? A lot of grace and favor. You already received this grace and favor, but within this 90 days, you are about to witness your, your blessings, these opportunities, prosperity materializing around you. For some months now, you have been receiving the synchronicities and the signs, but now within this 90-day period, a lot of you are going to start to watch these blessings and opportunities manifest in your life, okay? Um, and this is all going to be unexpected to you, all right? You're the, it, it, the you're a hot topic now because no one expected you to be for you to be the one to become successful. No one expected for you to be be the one to become the the first multimillionaire or the generational curse breaker. Okay, that's um or no no one just no one expected for you to rise to to the level and, and to the position that you are currently rising to. OK, so this is why it's like you're always the topic of discussion. But when it comes to your success and prosperity, this is like this is really this is really the focal point of a lot of people that are sitting back and watching you. People know that you are about to receive a major blessing. People know that you have some you have a, a large lump sum of money coming in. OK, Um is and like I said, just a lot of blessings and opportunities rolling in. All right. And this is a promise God has made to you and it's making to you. Now that you finally, you know, you understood the assignment, you pass each test. Okay. You you learn major lessons. This is why you're being granted. You're being granted with these with abundance, success, and prosperity because of the lessons you learned. For a lot of you, it took a while, you know, you bumped your head, you had to, uh, you had to go through certain things over and over and over for you to finally awaken and learn a lesson and get it. And now that you've done that, God is promising you that you will never want for anything. Okay. You will never lack anything again from within this 90 day period. And from the rest of your existence on this realm, you're going to live an abundant, prosperous, successful life, okay? A life full of abundance, joy, and blessings, okay? You beat the odds, 
Okay, you are someone you you totally beat the odds. And I was also hearing too that you beat the enemy at his own game, okay? Because it's a lot of individuals that had different plans for you. It's a lot of individuals that uh, constructed delays and challenges in your life. And uh, it's like it's like they set up. It, it, it was like you have motherfuckers behind the scenes setting you up for failure. Okay, it all was a game to them. Okay, and it's crazy because you was unaware. You you st- but you still beat the enemy at his own game, not even knowing, not even aware that you was in it. You 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 was playing this game, not even aware that you were uh you were being uh plotted on, and you still managed to beat the enemy at. At the, uh, the the their own plot that they constructed for you in your life, okay. Um, also, they were. Hold on. The odds were stacked against you, and you still succeeded. Okay, it's what spirit is saying. The odds were stacked against you and you still succeeded. Everyone is talking about how you made it, okay? And they're in disbelief. It's a lot of people in disbelief because you surpassed them. A lot of these individuals, they had a head start. A lot of these individuals, they they literally had, you know, they had more leeway, more resources. They had a head start in life, okay? And you still managed to surpass them from the bottom, okay? Imagine how these motherfuckers feel. They're in disbelief and embarrassed, okay? Because while you were going through lack, okay, and you was going through these different challenges when you was down and out, you know, it was motherfuckers, you know, they thought they was living it up. They thought they were better than you, okay? And they were doing a lot of slander. They was doing a lot of talking. They had a lot to say when you were experiencing setbacks after setbacks. And these people, they watch you surpass them from the bottom, okay? They watch you surpass them from the bottom. They're in disbelief that you are actually ahead of them in life, okay? The people that have so much to say about you, they ain't got shit to say now. They have nothing to say now, okay? Um, The slander holds no weight because you showed and proved, okay? Okay? For anyone who ever has something bad to say about you, anyone who ever slander you, gossip about you, that has something negative to say about you, when you was experiencing setbacks and delays, they ain't got shit to say now. They're on mute. Okay? You want to know why? Because you shut that shit down. Any slander, any negative, any bad shit motherfuckers had to say about you, by you showing and proving, being resilient, bouncing back, you the bounce back king or queen. This is what the fuck you do, okay? By you bouncing back from every setback, you shut all that shit down. Motherfuckers ain't got nothing to say now. They cannot say anything. And God has made sure of that, okay? These people broadcasted your failures, okay? But when it comes to your current success, it's crickets. Okay, when you was going through, you know, when you was going through your darkest hour, you was going through the dark night of the soul. And when it was, you know, your failures and the things you were going through, it was public. Okay, this is why God is making this success public. Okay, but when, but it was all designed that way. Okay, because when you was going through these setbacks and things, motherfuckers broadcasted this. Okay, you were the talk of the town. Everyone has something to say. Everyone sat back and watched, okay? Everyone spread the word, okay? When they broadcast your failures, bro, okay? But like I said, when it comes to your current success, they ain't got nothing to say. It's crickets. Motherfuckers do not want to acknowledge the fact that you you, you elevated, that you are victorious, and that you survived. Motherfuckers don't want to acknowledge the fact that you're great and you're 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 a victor, victor, okay? But they ain't got no fucking choice but to acknowledge it, because God has the like the spotlight on you, uh, all the shine on you. God puts you on a pedestal, and motherfuckers gonna respect it. Period. 
Motherfuckers ain't got no choice but to respect it. Okay? Um, it's like they thought, motherfuckers thought it was over for you. These individuals thought it was over for you. But clearly, it's just, I just seen 1010. You could be a Libra. Your birthday could be 1010. You're seeing 1010 because you're going through, it's like, you're, you may be losing a lot of things, shedding a lot of layers. It's a lot of things being, being taken from you at this time because better is coming in. It's a need. Someone here, it's a need for you to not get anxious or don't get worried because there may be certain people, certain situations. You It may be a job that you're losing. You may have to move. This is all a part of the, of the plan because God is bringing in something better, something major. You have, and it's unexpected, bro. You're not going to, you're not going to expect these major blessings and opportunities and it's success that's coming in. So if you are going through a stage where God, is, like you're shedding, okay, God is like, um, God is taking certain things away. It's all for the better. It, even if things don't, even if you're losing things or God is taking away, taking away certain things, it's, uh, it's not happening to you. It's happening for you. Everything happens for your highest good, okay? But what I was saying is that, you know, they thought it was over for you, but it's it's just the beginning, okay? It's just the beginning, like 10, 10, okay? It major it is for major brand new beginnings, okay? It is just the beginning for you, all right? But hey, it's vice versa for these motherfuckers because it's the end. It's the end of the road for these motherfuckers, all right? Um, people thought you would never come back from the setbacks. It was never expected for you. It, it, was, it was never designed for, for you to come back for these setbacks, okay? It, it was never designed for you to come back from these setbacks that you experienced, okay? But... You know, you beat the odds, like I said, and you also beat the enemy at at his at their own game. Cause you, it was crazy because you have the multiple, uh, multiple negative forces working against you. Okay, it was the time you had. It, it it's like you literally felt like the whole world. It was you against the world, and it was like that for quite some time. Okay, but once you awake it, you realize. That you were never alone. It wasn't you against the world. You have forces you couldn't see fighting for you. Although you you were experiencing negative forces coming against you. Okay. Um, also, these people, karma, that intentionally place certain challenges and delays on your path, that did things to try to keep you stuck and stagnant, their karma is to watch God consi co consistently bless you over and over and over again. Eternal blessings, okay? It's never going to stop. Your cup is going to continue to run over and overflow for eternity, okay? It's never going to stop. And that's their karma. Not only are they going to experience what they wished on you, po poverty, sickness, illness, curses, not only are they going to experience that, but while they are experiencing what they wished on you, they also have to sit and watch God consistently bless you. Okay. Uh, you know, they said you would fail. They said you would, you would never about to anything. They said you would never make it. They said that you would, you would never awaken to the bullshit. And you know what these motherfuckers are currently doing? They eat in all those words. Every fucking thing they said, everything they gossiped about, all that slander, everything they said you wouldn't be, they eating, they currently eat in them fucking words for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Okay? And like I said, these motherfuckers, they didn't want to acknowledge your greatness. They they don't they don't want to acknowledge your successes and your wins in life currently, but they ain't got no fucking choice but to. And God is is making these motherfuckers acknowledge who you are and how great you always been and they will respect it in that period. So let's hop into the vibes, you guys. We're gonna start with the clairvoyant that bro. <laughs> period. 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 Period.
period. Okay. We started with prosperity. This season is, is started with a lot of unexpected prosperity. Okay. Pouring in for you. Okay. You may be seeing um, with this bird, I'm getting like cardinals. You may be seeing a lot of red birds. Okay. A lot of colorful birds at this time. All right. You may be getting messages and signs and synchronicities from different birds. It's a specific bird you always see. This is your spirit animal, okay? And you receive downloads and messages from this from this bird. You may be seeing like when you're in nature or just when you're out. It's like you may be seeing everything in threes. You may be a light path number three. You may be born in March, but I'm getting everything coming at threes, okay? You're going to get three times the blessings, okay? You going to get shit you ain't even asked for. <laughs> like, God going to bless you. Gonna, like, where does come from? All right? You're going to, like, you're, you're going to get things that you never expected to receive is what I'm getting here. Okay? So let's tap in. Spirit guides and the high five night. So tap into this energy for my divine ones. I ask that you give me clear channel messages. I also ask that you protect me as I open myself to different energies. Thank you, Ashe. Yeah, you're receiving message messages from the angelic realm. Like I said, for the past couple of months, somebody was born March 20th, okay? But for the past couple of months, you have been getting the signs, the synchronicities, the angels have been leading the way for you, the angels have been guiding you, and now... This is the time you're uh, you're going to see these blessings, these opportunities, and this success materialize in the physical, okay? Rainbows may be highly significant. You could have just recently seen a rainbow or you have a rainbow tattoo. You resonate with rainbow. You could be someone like myself. Like when you was a child, you could have always drew rainbows a lot, okay? You, you're, um, it's like your world is becoming bright, Um uh, cut more like colorful your 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 reality okay the angels have led you to this new bold bright uh abundant reality okay you're finding a lot of feathers here someone you're finding a lot of feathers you can have feathers on your altar or it may be you know it, it may be a good idea for you to put some type of feather that feathers on an altar symbolize air because, you know, when you have your ancestors altar, you have to have all the four elements, water, fire, air, earth. OK, and um, feathers symbolizes air. So you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. OK, but yes, period. You have been given these downloads about what's to come. All right. You already know this is a self-fulfilling pro uh, prophecy because you, you could have dreamed of yourself being successful. OK, you already know that this is this is coming, but you just don't know what hour you just don't know when. OK, this is this is uh, unexpected blessings manifesting for you at this time. So let's just warrior. You could be 35. Someone is 35 here. OK, warrior. All right. Like that. Like I said. They never expected you to come back from what they, they these people set you up. They set a trap for you. They set a trap for you and you manage to still get, get out of the matrix. You manage to, to get out of this trap because you awakened to what was going on. These people, they, they were counting on you to never fully awaken to what they were doing to keep you in a certain vibration, to keep you stuck. And this is why God is blessing you because of your resilience, your perseverance, your fight, Okay. I, I honestly think, although things got hard, things got tough on this road, on your spiritual journey, for a lot of you, bro, I really give the energy you never thought about give, giving up. I mean, you could have thought about it. Well, you know, when you going through, especially when you going through so so much trauma, hell, you do sometimes think about giving give up, but you never acted on it, okay? you It may have crossed your mind. But but it's like you're the type you you thrive in chaos. You really thrive in chaos. Although you know it crossed your mind, it was just always something in your spirit that would not your warrior spirit, bro, would not allow you to give up. It could have crossed your mind thousands of times, but you never acted on it. Your spirit, your soul knows exactly what it is here to do. 
okay? And you didn't go against your higher self. You didn't go against the plan that the divine had for your life. You didn't go against God. You kept it pushing. You kept fighting. You never give up. You was born to never give up. You were designed to, to never give up. You're a true fighter, okay? You're a, you're a badass. You look adversity in the face, you went toe to toe with it, and you put you put a you put a you lay adversity to rest, bro. You lay adversity to rest, okay? Period. All right. Like I said, these people they have they are currently eating those words. These people thought you was weak, okay? They thought you were weak. They thought that uh, you know that you would never come out of this alive. These, these motherfuckers are eating all those fucking words for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. That's all they eating. It's all the, the bullshit they said about you. <clears throat> and they are, look, we have meat and angels. <laughs> you have a lot of, you have a large angelic presence around you. You are the, and you have angels, uh, angels around you on a consistent basis you you could be meditated you could have just recently did an angel meditation okay you're meditating with angels every time you meditate you just you have angels around you cleansing you healing you guiding you assisting you they never take their eyes off of you they never leave your presence okay um and i also was getting it's like People thought because you experienced this poverty and lack that you wouldn't become the first multi-millionaire or the first multi-billionaire. But this is how your success story starts. OK, this is how your success story uh, was made to was made to start. You had to go through certain tests. You had to go through certain lessons before you got to this blessing. And it's crazy because with individuals like when you look at certain successful individuals, um, they have a background similar to yours. Multi-billionaires and billionaires that they first experienced, a lot of them first experienced homelessness. They experienced poverty. They experienced lack, okay? It's always almost, you know, that's that's the general success stories for individuals that reach a certain milestone is what they experienced before the level up, okay? Uh, but yeah, that's it for our energy. Bro, with that just with that meet an angel I just see, I'm getting you're literally gonna meet an angel in human form. Wow. You're gonna be the earth another because you know you are already an earth angel. You're gonna be an earth angel in human form. For someone here, this earth angel a God is sending to you is a part of a, a major key to your success. Someone you are gonna meet. With the 90 days, it's going to be a very vital source, okay? A, a vital part to lead you to some type of opportunity that's going to bring major success I'm getting here. What's this? Whoa. The threshold. Yeah, you're going to meet some. You're going to meet someone, okay? Like I said, bro. This is it, the things you experienced was a part of your success story. Okay. It was a part of your success story. You're going to meet someone. So I, what I'm getting with threshold is door. Okay. So uh, earth angel, you're going to be in a physical is going to lead you to some opportunity. That's going to open a major door for you. Major doors are being granted for you. Doors that closed in your face. Certain people that said no. Okay. You have opportunities coming back around and the people that denies you, okay, the people that left you out in the cold, the people that said no to you and slammed the door in your face, you going to have motherfuckers for the past. They going to be begging. They going to be on your bumper. They going to be chasing you to have some type of opportunity or for you, you going to have people that want you to be the, the ambassador or they brand, people that want to work with you, people that want to book you. OK, but those people that did not see your worth or didn't see who you were or that turned you down because you wasn't at a certain set status or level, it's oh, it's over. It's closed curtains. It's no coming back because they were being tested as well. You are a walk, walking earth angel. And when people meet you or come in your presence, it's always a test for them. It's always a test for them. 
Okay, people judged you. It's people that that rejected you because of what you didn't have. And now that people see that you you are, you know, you're rising, you're becoming successful, you're becoming well known. Motherfuckers want to spin a block. Hell no. Nah. Keep that same spirit is saying these motherfuckers gonna keep that same energy and they 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 don't have a chance to ever work with you ever, period. They blew it. They fucking blew it. Okay. <clears throat> let's get one more from this deck, you guys. Let's, or let's get it a few more. What's this body spirit? I like this deck, y'all. What's this? Ow. Ooh. Yeah. After I get done, I got to do me some yoga. I just bent down. My side hurting. <laughs> You may be doing some yoga or you may be tense. Someone here, you're tense, okay? You may be having lower back pain, okay? You may be tense. You may need some type of massage. You may need to do some type of stretching for someone here, okay? But yeah, we have friendship in the reverse. Like I said, it's a lot of people that rejected offers from you, rejected your friendships, a lot of people that rejected you because of things you didn't have or things that you were going through at the time. OK, and it's going to be a lot of motherfuckers who who going to want to spin a block, who think they have a chance. They ain't got no fucking chance in hell. Ain't no way. Ain't no fucking way. You know, I don't be knowing what be going through motherfuckers brain to to make them think after rejecting you, after possibly slandering you, too. OK, after just, you know, denying you and looking down on you that they got a chance to come back from that. It ain't no fucking coming back. When my fuckers show you your true colors, you 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 know believe it, believe it. All right, it's no coming back from what certain my fuckers did to you. I don't think people fully be understanding that shit. Yeah, because people see you happy. People see you happy. People see you're living this life of abundance. Okay, people see that you are you are stable. People see God blessing you. People see this blessing on you. They see the favor on you. A lot of people, like I said, a lot of people already know what you're coming into. Okay? It's, you know, motherfuckers can't come with you. All right. Let's get some energy from the angel by Oracle. Whoa. What's this? Spiritual growth honesty and communication okay so we have spiritual growth here like i said god is granting you eternal blessings and opportunities and success because of your because of your growth okay you didn't let you're a warrior bro you didn't let what you was going through you ain't let it stop you you ain't let it deter you of course, it was days you felt like throwing in the towel and giving up, but you didn't. You thrive in chaos. You thrive in adversity. And it got you very far. It got you to the next level of your to the, the next season. OK, and this is all a season of abundance and prosperity for you. OK. You've you've done an extensive amount of, of work, shadow work on yourself and you deserve the blessings and the, the favor that's being manifested for you, okay? You deserve it all. Uh, people also are talking about, you know, how you've grown, how you've grown from adversity, how you've grown from how you used to be. Because, you know, a lot of you, a lot of you, when you were going through your dark night of the soul, you know, you were vib you were at a lower vibration. Some of you, you know, you may have suffered with some with addictions, or you like I said, a lot of you suffer with a lot of lack and poverty. A lot of you had a poverty mindset. Okay. You were just surrounded in a very toxic environment, but you still managed to grow through it. Period. Okay. Your third eye, something significant about your third eye. You may be working on your third eye here. It may be very, you may be working with amethyst. Someone here, you need to work with amethyst here. Okay, your third eye at this time is becoming 
very, very strengthened, okay? Your psychic connection to the angelic realm, okay? It's something about your heart chakra too, I'm getting, okay? Heart chakra and third eye chakra is highly significant here. Your heart chakra is wide open, okay? The heart chakra is the gateway to manifestations, and it's open, okay? It's a gateway of blessings being open for you. Honesty and communication, okay? <clears throat> like I said, it's got to be, it's, it's got to be, a, it's a lot of opportunity coming in for you. You're going to receive communication from different, from like, Different individuals that may want to work with you, connect with you, partner with you in some type of way. Okay, you're receiving some type of communication because you know people see your authenticity. People can see exactly who you are. All right, the truth has been revealed about who you truly are. All right, you're gonna, you're just going to receive like just a flood of communication, just a flood of opportunities. Okay. You're going to get some type of communication about an opportunity that's being manifested, I'm getting. Okay. We have Rose Quartz on the top of this deck. Okay. Someone named could be Rose. You could have a grandmother named Rose. If you have a grandmother named Rose that um that passed over this is a spirit guide that's uh this was someone with this person was in a physical realm you were very close and connected with this person or if their name not rose this could be a, a grandmother that loves roses or you could be gifting someone with roses or you were just gifted with roses you have roses on your altar you have roses in your house Okay, you're working with rose quartz here. It's something significant. You could have a rose tattoo. It's something significant about rose here. Okay, that's what I'm getting. Let's get some energy from this deck, though. Rosy. I'm getting rosy. We have divine energy. Okay. Divine energy. Let's clarify this. Look. Regain powers and blessings, okay? By coming into your divine energy and truly merging with, with the divine and letting the divine lead you on this journey, okay? It got that, like I said, your angels have been leading you and guiding you to this road of opportunity. You have regained your power and blessings, period. You have regained your powers, your power and blessings. Quartz crystals are highly significant here. We have clear quartz here. Look, did I say third eye chakra is highly significant? You may want to work with uh, clear quartz in regards to this specific chakra. That's just our energy spirit. It came out again. Okay, look, we have million dollar goals. And, and one of the last couple of readings, I picked up that someone is, sit, has a million dollar business idea and you're sitting on it, okay? Like I said, bro, it was never expected for you to become the first multi-millionaire or the first multi-billionaire to come out of, the, out of the, your family, okay? But it is. It was always designed and destined. People thought because you were lacking in certain areas and because you was going through certain shit or you didn't possess certain things that, you know, it, that you wouldn't you wouldn't succeed. That pe people just thought that what they was doing behind the scenes was enough to keep you stuck. And your ancestors are pissed about this. OK, your ancestors are pissed, like I said. Not only do they have to watch you consistently get blessed, they are going through what they have wished on you. Okay? Your ancestors are pissed because people did the most to, 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 to see you fail. People, they, they strategize and plotted on you and set you up to fail. And these are people you would have did anything for. Your ancestors pissed because your ancestors know you're truly genuine and loving and you just don't rock like that. 
okay? You will, you will get a shirt off your back, all right? Your ancestors pissed because these motherfuckers took your kindness for weakness. A Sagittarius is significant. Okay, hold on. Clarify happiness, spirit. Clarify happiness. Angelic protection. Archangel Michael is 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 you have a very close sacred connection. Someone here, okay? Your angels are happy. Because you didn't renege on a divine plan. Your ancestors are, I say ancestors, your ancestors and your angels are happy because you're obedient, okay? You're obedient and you stay consistent. Even though you couldn't see your angels or your ancestors, you couldn't see your protection, you always felt it. You always knew it was a higher force leading you and guiding you because of a certain shit you survive, okay? Your angels are, are, have literally gone to war for you because they are proud of you. Your blessings, your happiness, your peace is being protected. Like I said, bro, someone here, even for someone here too specific, it could be a Sagittarius, uh, Someone that was a masculine energy, uh, like a, a favorite uncle you had, a father, a grandfather, someone that has transitioned, that has became some type of angel for you, some type of healing angel. This person could have been a, a, a Sagittarius or you could be, okay? Y'all take it where the rest of the day. I'm getting Taurus and um, Capricorn as well, energy, all right? Let's clarify friendship in a reverse. <laughs> courage and bravery. Yeah. It took a lot of courage for you to walk away from certain connections and partnerships, but you was brave enough to do it. You was brave enough to do it. You was brave enough to, to sacrifice certain people that wasn't serving you. Okay. It took a lot to do. Because as many nights and, you know, as many seasons you spent alone, a lot of you are still alone. But in your solitude, you found courage. You found strength. You found yourself. You found power. You now see why God has to isolate you. You now see why God has to isolate you. Because your, your mission it's, it's just, it was bigger than the motherfuckers you had around you, period. I love this for y'all, bro. This is so beautiful. Beautiful energy. And I feel the energy too. Okay. Let's get a few from this deck, y'all. What's the vibe, spirit? Look, aura of protection in the reverse. Okay. These individuals that's experiencing what they wished on you, they're experiencing a lot of warfare, a lot of um a lot of endings. They experiencing a lot of trauma and a lot of misfortune, and they have no protection of this. They have no protection. God washed his hands with these motherfuckers. What it is, what the fuck it is, because when they thought that you were going to suffer when they put you in this position. They washed their heads with you. They said, oh, it is what it is. They walked away because they did it. They walked away expected for you to stay down. Let's get some energy. Someone was born in the 70s. Someone that was born in the 70s, that transition has become some type of uh, spiritual guide to you in the uh in a spiritual realm. Someone has become a, a, a protector, some type of angelic protector for you. For someone I was born in the 90s, that transition. I said, yeah, I said 90s too, because 90s right here. 70s, I meant. 
okay, but the 90s are highly significant too. You, for someone here, you have a blessing coming towards you, something coming towards you that's been being held since the 90s, something that's been, been kept back from you since the 90s is resurfacing. Like I said, it's a lot of things resurfacing that's been uh, held from you, okay, that's been took it for, taken from you. Bad rouge is highly significant. Luminary energy, my baby. Brilliant achievement. Okay, this success you have achieved, brilliant. This victory, brilliant. Your uh, your resilience, brilliant. This is a brilliant achievement. And this is, you're going to go down in history for what you have overcame. And you're going to be remembered for what you have overcame. Period. Yeah, look, haters. <laughs> And your haters got to watch. All, every hater that spoke on, on your name, they have to watch. Motherfuckers hate the fact that you overcame what you overcame. Period. Look, remember I said what I picked up on? That million dollar idea you said though? This came out, y'all know. This came out in the last two reads. Launch the business. Don't hold back. Okay. You have every reason to go full throttle because everything is going to work out for you, period. Cosmic mysteries, okay? You could be uh, doing some research on a cosmos. Uh, with cosmic mysteries, I'm getting, you're getting a lot of cosmic insight in an astral realm and your dreams, your astral projected. Okay, you're tapping into cosmic mysteries. You are a cosmic mystery. You're a cosmic gift. And you're being granted with, a, with cosmic gifts. The cosmos, damn, uh, the cosmos are granting you with prosperity. Let's get a few more messages, y'all. I don't know. I, that's probably a spam call. Y'all could be getting a lot of spam calls. I don't know what the hell is going on with that, but y'all. It's, it's like they're the only motherfuckers that call me, bro. Because <laughs> y'all shit. Y'all know I don't fuck with people. I'm solo all the time. I don't fuck with nobody. I don't fuck with no humans. Like, I don't talk to nobody on the phone. None of that shit. Motherfuckers don't even barely know my number. So you could be getting a lot of spam-like calls. This is also a sign of some type of breakthrough. I don't know where the fuck I heard that at. I was watching somebody... Uh, oh, like a minute ago Oh, YouTube It wasn't a reader or nothing It was uh some type of I don't know who it was It was a dude that was saying something I don't know, bro But you could be receiving a lot of spam Spammy ass calls the, Bro, these are minors and spirits Okay I cannot make this up Speak, spirit You are so close the blessings are here. Within 90 days, you, you fed to see what I'm talking about, bro. Okay? And, you know, take it where it resonates. Because this message not for everybody. This channel not for everybody. But if you know, you know. <laughs> You're so close. The biggest L they took was losing you. Because they now see that you are the successful one. You're the star. Okay, and they're going, I can't make this up. As you receive unexpected blessings, these motherfuckers are receiving unexpected towers. This shit is going to hit their ass like a ton of bricks out the blue. This is not the season to play with you, period. This is not the season to play with you. Let's get uh, some final messages. Big, and that's big facts. Your ancestors said that's big facts, bro. This ain't the season to play with you because your ancestors all stand by. And they wish a motherfucker would try to sabotage what they are blessing you with. It's off with their head in an instant. Your ancestors not playing with none of these motherfuckers. They misunderstood you. Yeah, these people that 